Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to the build for 16 and Pregnant. So this is going to be their future house and just a little backstory of, you know, what, why I'm building the floor plan like this. Like, I feel like I look like really weird. Like I was counting right here. Okay. So, um, basically I built this house and I, for some reason, I don't know if it was because I was just so in the mood to the, to build. I like wasn't checking if it was recording basically. And I never do that. You know, I always look over to make sure I have no clue why I didn't. And then I literally realized that I wasn't recording like when I was almost finished the build. And then I was like, okay, I'm just going to finish this. And I originally wasn't going to redo it and do a video for it. But then the next day I woke up and I was like, you know, I really enjoyed doing this build. Um, I'm excited about it. I want people to see like the progress of the build. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and redo it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I basically copied it. I took pictures of it and then I was like looking at it. So some parts I'm like double checking to make sure everything's the same. See, I'm like switching things around and then you'll see a part, I think where I go into the gallery and look at the actual house because I couldn't see something with the pictures I took. And yeah, I saved it to like, uh, my library. Um, the original house I built, <laughs> um, just in case I couldn't get it to turn out the same again. But I was like, you know, I think I can get it the same again. It's a pretty basic house. Um, it's just a little bit different than what I usually do. I feel like, like the way I put the backyard, you guys will see. Um, and I went for a totally different floor plan than I originally thought. And this was a lot of fun. So I had kind of like a price limit, but, um, I didn't really, you know, focus on that too much. So I believe by the end it's like 24,000, but then including the lot price, it goes up a little bit more, but you know, the house on its own is like 24,000 and they're going to have three Sims in the house and then plus their savings. I'm going to add that. So it'll end up being okay. But when they move in, it's going to be like more realistic. They're going to move in when it's like not furnished. You guys will see all I furnish in this part or in this, in this part, in this build is the, um, kitchen and the bathroom. And basically I just felt like, you know, they're going to go look at this house, which is going to happen. They're going to go and look at this house. Like as if they're like, you know, they've been looking for a house and they found their perfect home. You know, I'm excited for that to happen, but yeah. So they're going to look at the house and everything. And then, um, they'll, they'll buy it and then they'll slowly furnish it. I'm just going to make sure they have enough for like the necessities, but I want to kind of make it as if, you know, they're going out and buying furniture and looking for things and stuff like that. Cause I think that's kind of fun to do that. Um, even if it's not really a realistic let's play, I just think that's fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, the floor plan's done. You know, you guys saw all of that. Obviously you guys can tell what's going to be the toddler's room, of course. And then beside that will be the parent's room. And now I'm doing the roof. Um, so, uh, you know what I've noticed? This is probably my favorite style of house to build. You know, I don't always build houses like this. And, um, I did the, um, I think it was, what did I build? I think it was a house for like a starter house for a family of three. And there was a toddler's room. It's up on my channel. Um, I forget what I called it blue something, little blue starter. Is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> and I went, I made it blue on the outside with the exact same wallpaper, but it was blue and kind of like a similar style, like a family home. Um, it was a lot smaller. Um, but yeah, and I just really enjoyed building that. And then I found myself really enjoying building this. Um, there's times randomly when I'm in the mood for a modern home or I don't know, I just, I've built a lot of family homes, but I've just like discovered this certain style I like for some reason. I like enjoy it the most. I don't know. <laughs> it was, I just enjoyed it. And it's something where I feel like I don't struggle as much for some reason. I don't know. Um, and I get in the building zone. So, um, yeah, we're doing the roof here and fixing some windows. I was like wondering why the windows didn't look the same as the screenshots I had. And it's because I had the house like one square too big or something. And I didn't realize. So, um, also these little flower things for the windows. Oh my gosh. I even put move objects on. It keeps clipping like that. It was driving me insane. <laughs> so it's not completely even, but it's good enough. Um, and then now we're doing the backyard. I'm so excited about the backyard. I don't know why. Um, I put a pool in the back, which I'm happy I was able to do that without it going too high up in price. So it's just a small pool, but I thought that would be cute. And then, you know, when the toddlers are kids, that'll be fun for them and a little bird feeder. So the backyard is like pretty empty because again, this is unfurnished. So it's not furnished yet. It just has the necessities. So there's the kitchen and the bathroom stuff. Obviously that would be in the house when you're like looking at a house. So, um, I'm, 
I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna have another video furnishing it because like I said, I'm gonna furnish it slowly. So I'll probably do that like in the parts um, of 16 and Pregnant. So yeah, <laughs> but you guys kind of get to see the feel of the house. I think it'll look really cute when it's like all furnished. I really like the kitchen. Um, I feel like it's very them. I feel like this is our dream home, you guys. You know, there's gonna be a basketball court in the front. I don't think I did that yet. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's not really a court. It's just like a basketball hoop, you know, it's like a smaller area. It's not like a full court or anything, obviously. Um, and I, I, cause like I put a driveway in the front and originally I was going to put like one of the toy cars and size it up. But I was like, you know what? If Nicholas saw that there is a basketball hoop in this house, that would make him want it even more. Like literally that's him. He sees a basketball court or a court, a basketball hoop and also sees that it's two bedroom. It has what they need. There's also a pool. I feel like that's what sold Darcy, the pool. <laughs> so yeah, this is, I feel like I'm talking ahead of time because um, they haven't seen the house yet but it will be their dream home and yeah so i'm just like super excited to have them come here and like look at it i don't i don't know if i want to also bring nicholas's parents or they're just going to go on their own they're definitely not going to bring the toddler so maybe his parents will watch them and they'll go and like do some house hunting <laughs> um now here i did a little curved path thing and i kept messing it up because i was trying to get it to look the way i had it originally and it was close enough it pretty much looked like that maybe like slightly different but you know <laughs> it's funny because when i did it the first time i just like winged it and it turned out perfectly but then you know you try to do it again and you fail and it's literally the simplest little path but yeah i don't know <laughs> and then i decided to put flowers along it so i thought that was pretty and i I don't know. It went well. I had to do some adjustments though because I felt like it looked a little weird. <laughs> uh, also, I really liked landscaping this house. So um, eventually I want to add like a tree and stuff. I just didn't want to put the price up too much and um, I was getting a little too into landscaping and kept wanting to add more but I was like, you know, these plants, they're adding up, you know, <laughs> and I don't want them to have to end up staying at Nicholas's parents for a long time and not being able to afford this place so that would suck and i also don't want them to move in and have like nothing you know what i mean because then like i don't know that just wouldn't be good i mean now okay they can bring the toddler's furniture so that's the good thing we can bring that i mean i would love to keep it there so that when you know they could sleep over at their grandparents house and have their room but you know we can still bring it and put it in their inventory just so they don't have to pay for those things and then i can go back to the parents house and and like put different beds and stuff like that that maybe the grandparents went out and bought um, so that the twins have an area to play and sleep when they come over. So I was thinking I could do that. Um, but yeah, also in the bathroom, I put a potty and I don't know why I did that because like, why would there be a potty there? Like there really wouldn't be if it's an unfurnished home, but I, I don't know. I guess I wasn't thinking of that. I just put a potty. So, you know, the house comes with a potty. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I like these plants in the back. I need to use them more. I used to use them all the time and then I stopped, but they're, they're good, like, to fill up space. I like them. So, <laughs> we are coming to an end here. I hope you guys like the home and I put little lights around the pool just to add some lights, you know, um, so it's not so dark if they're outside at night. I just feel like this will be such a nice home for the twins to grow up in. I feel like Darcy and Nicholas will be so happy in it. Um, I don't know. I'm just like obsessed with it. <laughs> just like the way it is. It's so perfect for them. I can't. So <laughs> we are about to go into pictures. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm adding some lot traits here. I feel like that's perfect for them. And yeah, so um, I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And this house is in the gallery. If you want to get unfurnished, you guys can do that. <laughs> and um, don't forget to leave some positive down below. I love you guys all so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. You gotta listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can get from you. Boy, I don't need that much, need that much. How can I tell you what I want?